What's up guys, it's your boy Goggles back with another video. Uh, I'm going to be doing an update on my 2-3 zone and also uh, show y'all the defensive settings I use uh, daily, every time I stream, every time I play. First and foremost, I would recommend you get Greg Popovich. What he does is he ramps up the defense and though you don't get the offensive boost like 3-pointer and all that type of stuff, I'm telling you guys, it will, you will see a tremendous difference in how you play. Uh, especially on the, in unlimited and play with friends is not as I guess uh, effective but in unlimited this is probably the most effective uh, coach and boost you could ever get and you will see a major difference um, and so first and foremost uh, the point guard shooting guard small forward they all get the same boost it's just that it depends on their fit in the defensive proficiency uh, for the system proficiency of defense for instance Isaiah Thomas Kobe Bryant the only thing that changes is the strength and block they switch places so if it's good if if the fit is good then the bottom you do not get the bottom boost um, if the fit is is if the fit is no great if it's great you get a you, you don't get the bottom boost but if it's good I think you get you only get three uh three of the boost of uh, that that they give that defense gives um Anthony Davis his uh his uh, boost are help for power forwards actually help defense IQ on ball defense IQ defense rebounding low post defense IQ defensive consistency and strength and for the center uh, you get help defense IQ on ball defense IQ defense rebound low post defense IQ strength and also offense rebounding and as you can see Nicola does not have the uh, offense rebounding because his fit is not excellent it's great if we go down Hakeem he gets offense rebounding and he, because he has excellent his fit is excellent in this uh perfect system proficiency and so now let's get into a game and i'm going to show y'all uh talk y'all through the the zone and help y'all master it or at least practice using it based off of the tips that i give y'all and also show y'all my settings as well okay guys so here are my defensive settings um, first off, we put everybody on the on ball pressure and the off ball pressure. We put that on, put that on tight for everyone. And then what I do next is I go all the way down, and I will put it on no help, drive help, screen help, no help. We switch off ball, all off ball screens. And then on the off ball screen, we switch. I mean, on the hedge, we catch hedge. Uh, and what that does, I feel like is, or at least what I've seen, what I would think of, just from what it tells you right there, the hedge man will drop and contain the drop along with preventing the screener from getting behind him uh, on those on the roll for the most part it will keep those it will stop those alley-oop attempts usually they they can keep the alley-oop contained at least um and so it it kind of it kind of decreases the ability to catch alley-oops uh on the on the drive or on the roll and then we force on the baseline and what that does is basically especially in the zone if you force them to the middle of the floor you're giving up a whole bunch of space like if they get to the middle of the floor and they get open like if somebody helps it's gonna be hard to get back unless you're just really good at baiting it's gonna be very hard for you to uh for somebody like clay thompson if you don't get back into him one time it, that's an easy three easy three that's a green automatically uh, but with somebody when you force to the baseline uh, First of all, you're forcing them into the into uh, to the when you force it to the baseline, you're keeping the ball out of the middle of the floor where all the space where everything opens up. If the, to the baseline, it's only just pretty much him and the, him and the goal is the only thing you have to worry about. When you worry about the when you go to the middle, you gotta worry about it. you're uh, you off. You gotta worry about the, the person that's got the ball. You gotta worry about help and just different types of stuff that can occur. Uh, from driving to the middle of the floor, so try to, so force on baseline. That's I've noticed that it, it helps me tremendously, and it also keeps them from getting easy uh, passing lanes. Um, throughout when you go to the middle of the floor, it's easy to just throw it to the to the wing for an open three. You can't do that on the, uh, when you force it to the baseline. Um, on ball screens, we put those on ice, and what that does is that forces the ball handler to refuse the screen and go the other way. And I usually like to cheat over a little bit with my defender real quick. And then uh, I cheat over with my defender, and then I switch on to the hedge man real quick, and uh, get use him to like if he tries to pop, I'll be right there for the uh, for the pop. Uh, but usually my defenders they get over they'll 
if I even if I cheat, usually they don't they don't hit the screen. They don't get hit with the screen. But if they cheat uh, and they get back, usually they, they're able to get back completely get back in front of their man and not get blown by on the baseline. They attach. Uh, I put that on yes. And what that does is whenever they're setting the screen, whenever the screener comes up to set a screen. What can easily happen if you're not attached, they can easily drop it off to your to the center uh, or the power forward, whoever set the screen, and they can easily shoot a three without any without any contest because your player, your defense, defender, the hedge man is is not up. He's not coming up. He's not. He's just all back. You know how how Stephen Curry, how they play Stephen Curry at times is so stupid. They'll sit there and, and they'll play him at the free throw line, or they'll be standing at the free throw line and like Stephen Curry just. That defender, that uh, you know the, the the guy that's getting screened against, he he uh the person guard Stephen Curry gets hit on that screen. If he can't get through that screen, Stephen Curry has a wide open three. Uh, but with that with this, um, basically it's it's more so uh more so directed towards the pop or mainly the pop guy. He can easily easily get a three because you're not attached. Um, and unless you're just running at him. And then we go through see who cannot shoot if they cannot shoot like Nurkic we go all the way down put it on drive help no uh, put drive help help screen help help um, then we go all the way up on the off ball pressure leave him and then we go through to check and see if anybody else can shoot um, after that uh, now we're gonna I'm gonna get y'all into the defensive settings uh, or the zone how I run the zone um, and kind of talk y'all through it I, I, it's kind of hard to play and do it at the same time. So here we go. I'm forcing him to the middle of the floor. He didn't. I didn't. I, I didn't get the force him up to the middle of the floor. But uh, right there, Scotty Pippen. That's an easy, easy bump. Still, uh, we were not able to get it. But we. You see, I swiped anyway. Um, Dame Lewis wide open. D'Angelo Russell's wide open. And LA is about as wide open now. Because of Greg Popovich, more than likely, I don't believe I was. I don't think I was playing that that pass. I did not think he was gonna throw that pass. Um, I might, I might have. Okay, I might have. I'm not sure. I did switch on the Nicola for a quick half second, but see, we get that that deflection. We were unable to come up with a steal, but our defense gets back set up. That's the best. That's the main thing. Right here, I baited him so well, uh, and I just I should have used Kobe instead of Isaiah Thomas. I know Dan was wide open. I, I I'm not stupid. I sit there and see that. That's why I got Isaiah Thomas. I'm just waiting for him to get that ball thrown to him. As soon as he gets that ball thrown to him, I was gone. And he set that, uh, Nurkic set that screen, and I was unable to get there. And then I, I think I wasn't, I was either unable to contest with Kobe or I didn't contest with Kobe. I forced him up to the middle. And what I like to do is, what that does is, that creates a lot of bump still uh, opportunities. And if the ball, if he has the ball in his left hand, I try to reach in with Isaiah Thomas, right hand, Kobe Bryant, or whoever, whoever's on that wing. And I was, uh, he crossed over, and Dominique is wide open. Wilkins is wide open, but he's not because Anthony Davis, you see me, I switch over real quick. As soon as I reach in with Cole Bryant, I immediately switch to Anthony Davis or whoever uh, would be on that side. And he's he, he looks like wide open, but he's not right there. And right there, that was just 2K being 2K right there. Uh, simply trying to force him to the middle, but I couldn't. Uh, but D'Angelo Russell looks like he's wide open. I think he does make this shot. We just got, we kind of got lucky right there. We just got lucky he missed that shot. Uh, and this guy right here, he kept getting steals against me. But we still, once we slowed down, we were straight. So right here, Kobe Bryant, trying to, I, I get messed up and I get, I gamble too much and I get out of position. But we're able to recover easily. Damon Little is wide open. Nope. Dominique Wilkins like he's wide open and he was for a second. I think he makes this shot actually. Yeah, he makes this shot. Um, I missed time that I missed time that right there. I actually missed time that because Damian Lillard was wide open, but and I reached I reached right there, but I didn't contest uh, myself. Computer contest is is, is two totally different things. Uh, so right here, force him up to the middle. Look at that. That that should have been a steal or could have been a steal, but. We were unable to get it. Kobe Bryant, look at this. Pinch. And look how fast I switched to Anthony Davis. And look, he, he think it's wide open, but it's not because I'm right there looking at it. I'm, I'm, I'm looking for it. And that, you see, you love, you know me. I like to shoot threes. Easy three-point opportunities. Easy three-point opportunities. 
right here, I would have got that steal if it, if it was Magic Johnson. But look at that, the pinch again, pinch, 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 and I, that was a clear, the, a good bump steal. But more, most of the time, it's a, uh, it's just a simple bump steal where he just hits the ball. It, it's not like, and it's not that, and you don't get that animation a lot of times. But we we were uh, fortunate to get it right there on this possession, forcing them to the trying to see. I I reached in at the not at the right time with Isaiah Thomas, but he still he crosses over into that lane. He tried to shoot an open three, can make that. That's that's very makeable shot. But we were fortunate that he missed. Let's see right here, reaching a little bit with Isaiah Thomas right now. Wilkins and D'Angelo's open, and what I did was, since I came up with Kobe, I chose I, I switched immediately to Anthony Davis, and I came up just a little bit, just a little bit, and he led his receiver on. He kept he led his receiver to the to to the court to the corner some more, uh, and he should have came back, led him back to it towards him, and I was ready for that pass. And look at that easy steal on the other end, um, and we just. He, he, I don't know exactly what happened, but you know, you just get you just basically the opposite possession regardless. Just make sure you capitalize is the best thing I can say. Um, right here, D'Angelo Russell. I'm thinking he's gonna pass D'Angelo Russell. That's why I reach, and then after I reach, I immediately switch back to Isaiah Thomas. And a hey, look at that defense, and he had the pass. Uh, I saw it. I was unable to get there in time to Wilkins, but forced him to to try to take a stupid shot. And we just reach in right there, and that was, that was a bad reach in. So right here, perfect, 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 perfect position for Isaiah Thomas. We guess right. He does the crossover. I look a lot of times people do crossovers when they're coming up the court. They never, they never just go straight up the court. They do, they're trying to do a crossover. Crossover right in front, right in front of Isaiah Thomas. We didn't get that steal. We didn't get that steal. But as you can see, Dominique is wide open. Now I'm more worried about D'Angelo because he can shoot better, uh, but most of the time, I mean, usually both them, both players can shoot just as well, no matter who it is. But we we were able to get him to he was very he was late on the reaction. His reaction to it was late, and so we still get a good test with Andy Davis. It's, it's especially with Wilkins shot, and that's an easy miss. Don't get the rebound, but we were we were unable to get a contest on. Uh, D'Angelo Russell right there. That was, you can't really do anything right there with Isaiah Thomas. So he gets up the court. Most of the time they shoot that shot, but we were able to get in front of him, forcing him. When they set a screen, I'm forcing them to, to Sky Pivot, especially because there's nobody on Sky Pivot side. Hey, I'm forcing you to go to that side. I'm not letting you go to the middle. And if you do go to the middle, it's an easy pinch with, the, uh, with Kobe. So right here, like he's playing. I got to play with two people on one side. And he has D'Angelo, but honestly, he had Danny Lillard wide open. He has Danny Lillard wide open right now. He didn't see that. He took a crazy shot. We get a rebound, and we just go on the other way. And what does that, what does that result in? An easy three on the other end. I'm telling you guys, this, this if you really learn how to master the zone, you will be so good. Right there, that was a, that was the bump still that we could not get. While well, Isaiah Thomas, he drove right into it, and he's got the lockdown pass. Come in with Kobe. Uh... I reach. Uh, that was the computer. I, I didn't reach. I actually didn't reach. I sent, I went to uh, Anthony Davis <clears throat> to try to cut that off, that pass off. And what he did, what that, what happens is once you get so get so many steals, they start playing so conservative and they just slow down and just stop. And when they stop, that's when you that that's actually a good thing, but it can also hurt you. Uh, cause I I'm I'm simply just looking at what you're gonna do next. And right here, you thought you had damn little wide open, but I switched back. I, I know he's trying to throw. He's trying to throw to Kobe. Or I mean, it's a D'Angelo or Dame Lillard, and whoever you throw to, I'm right there regardless, because I can, I can easily get uh, to either one, um, and we pick, we pick that off easily. Here we go, guys. This is my uh, my second unit: Magic Johnson six nine, J Julius Irvin six six, uh, Worthy six nine, Weber six nine, um, and Hakeem seven feet tall. This this lineup is so lengthy. Uh, and it's probably the best defensive lineup just because they're, none of these guys are shooters. They can shoot, but they're not necessarily just, I, I would say, shooters. Uh, but they can play a crazy amount of defense. And, God, uh, look at that. Look at that block. I don't even think I blocked that shot. I think that was that was Julius Irvin. I think that was the computer itself that just blocked that shot. But uh, 
Force to the middle. Force to the middle. Right now, Danzo is wide open. Danzo is wide open. And he threw the ball very late and let him wrong again. And right there, Chris Weber, the computer was easy. Was right there. They steal that ball. And we're off to the races and the shooting threes like crazy. And he's about to quit uh, in about a few more possessions. Forcing him to the middle. He stopped. Smart. But we come back with Matt Johnson again. He's, I'm, I'm thinking he's going to go to Damian Lillard. He could go to LaMarcus. Who does he go to? We, we get an easy, another. You drive, you keep, you draw, uh, make him drive into the, to all the, all the, uh, the crowd. To so much, it's so conjunctive. And easy uh, bump steal or steal. To the off to the races again, bang, green light. Uh, so many, that's why I shoot. So I get so many greens because it's so many. When you when I'm open, I'm gonna make my three. I ain't gonna miss no three on a fast break wide open from a defensive mishap uh, or from a defensive turnover we got. Hey, no. Uh, right there, we get opposition, but hey, I see Danger Russell's coming up. Danger Russell's wide open, and that's not a bad pass, but I saw I, I saw that already. Chris Weber, what I do, I have to jump. I know because I, I know he wants to shoot that shot. And most of, especially with somebody like Clay Thompson, he gonna shoot that shot. Uh, Paul George, they gonna shoot that shot. So I jumped as man. That was a two. That was actually a two. If that was a, even if that was a three, we would have stayed shot, and I would have stayed had to jump. We get a good contest. Again, rebound off to the races. Worthy. I would actually throw the ball away. We get the ball right back, I, uh, and then we get the ball right back, and we score. I hit. Uh, we actually score. But let's go to another possession. This is the last possession before he quits. Try to force him to the to the paint, but he gets they they get so like baffled and they start throwing up crazy shots. And once they start throwing up crazy shots, you know you're gonna make them quit sooner. Sooner or later they're gonna they're gonna quit. Green light, as you can see, he stalled. I think he closed the application. Easy uh, easy win. 52-15. Like guys, it's it's not that hard. It just takes a lot of practice. And guys, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all, I'm telling y'all. First and foremost, use Greg Popovich. If you really want to be good at defense, man, use Greg Popovich. I'm telling you, as long as you can release the, the ball pretty well, threes will not be a problem. They really won't. I'm so serious. Like, Hakeem, I think the only thing I have on him is a shoot, and he shoots just fine. I have a, a Kobe's on him, but he shoots just fine, even with just, just with the Kobe's. Uh, because once they get high, they're going to get a boost on their three-point regard. It's just that their takeover with their, with like, what... What uh, what you see that actually does get that actually gets a boost? What you see uh, from their takeover badge, that's the only thing that really matters. Like sharpshooter, they they get a boost from a three ball regardless. It's just that a sharpshooter is more is gonna make more shots while when he's hot than somebody that it has like a slasher. They they get a boost from their three pointer. They get a boost on their three pointer, but the the actual. Um, the in-game effect is not as deadly. But yeah, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Um, I hope this was very helpful. If it was, please like, uh, subscribe, comment. It's your boy Goggles, and I will catch y'all later. Thank you.